Hi, this is Jessica Hagman with The Ohio University Libraries, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to find communication or media-related scholarly or research articles. I'm starting from the front page of the library website, and then I'm going to click on Databases so I can get to an article database that is specific to communication or media topics. In order to do this, I will click on the Browse by Subject link, and then scroll down and look at the Communications and Journalism section. There are a couple databases here that might be useful. Um, we're going to look at Communication Mass Media Complete, but if you are interested in articles about film or television related media, the Film and Television Literature Index would be a great place to look. We'll click on Communication and Mass Media Complete, and that will take us to the database. So now I need to put my search terms in here. Usually it's a good idea to pull out the main search terms for your topic. So I'm going to do a search for uh, gender and social media for a question about how the different ways that people use social media based on their gender. So I'll go ahead and click search. And in this case, I came up with 183 search results, which isn't bad. I can do some things to limit those a little bit more including limiting to scholarly or peer-reviewed articles by going over to the left-hand side, checking the box, and clicking Update. And now I have, I'm down to 126, which is much fewer. Right, sometimes you may also want to limit by date. So in this case, I'm going to go from 2000 to 2013. So now I can scroll through and see what kind of articles I have, and I'm going to look at this third one, Face It, The Impact of Gender on Social Media Images. To find out more information about an article, you'll click on the title. And here we have the list of authors, there's quite a few, as well as the name of the journal that this comes from, which in this case is Communication Quarterly. I see that it was published in November of 2012, Volume 60, that this is Issue 5 and I have the page numbers. This is all the information you're going to need when you do a citation. There's some other words here that I might want to keep an eye on. We have these things called subject terms, which are kind of like tags on Facebook in that they link all of the articles on the same topic together. So um, it's much like if, when you have your pictures on Facebook, they're all linked together through your name. So I can see that they use uh, gender stereotypes, for example, as a phrase, as well as social media, which is what we searched for. If you saw something here that wasn't what you searched for, for example, if you had searched for TV and found that they use television, or you had searched for something about movies and found that they use motion pictures instead, you could either click on one of these subject headings to see all of the articles on that topic, or you could change your search to include that phrase instead of the one you had used originally. If you decide you want to read this article after you've taken a look at the abstract to see what it's about, look on the left-hand side of the page for full text. In this case, we have linked full text, which is going to find the PDF on another library website and open it up for you in a new window. Let's look at another example, because there are a couple different ways this can look. Here's another one, number five. In this case, instead of having that linked full text, we have a PDF full text. This is the most common thing you'll see for full text, and this is just a PDF file that you can open on your computer or download. Let's take a look for one more. Okay. So here's one we can see where we don't have that full text link at all. It says find it with link source. And what this does is it's saying it doesn't have the full text here in this database, but it can go and look for the full text in another library database. Usually this will open a new tab or a new window for you while it does the search. Okay, so now I see that it tells me the full text of this article is the Ohio Link Electronic Journal Center. So I can click on that link. opens a new tab once again. And now I'm in a, another place um, that we have articles called the EJC, where I can click here, and there I have the PDF full text. So if you don't see that full text link, always look for the find it with full text, find it with link source link to see if maybe it's someplace else. 
a lot of times we do have it, especially in the EJC or through the publisher's website. When you've decided to use an article for sure, I recommend using one of the tools on the right side of the page to keep track of it. Um, email is a great option because it will send you an email with a link back to this page and all of the citation information. You can also create a citation so you could search for it again, although um, be fair warned that they don't always format these exactly correctly. Or you could create a link back to the website and just paste it to some place where you can save it. So that's been a quick look at finding scholarly research articles on media topics. If you have any questions or can't find the articles that you need, be sure to get in touch and let me know how I can help.